The hook I am using is a TMC 101 in size 22. And the thread is Vivas 14 aught in black. Start your thread about a third of the way down the hook shank. Then bring your thread down to the bend of the hook. Pull a small amount of superfine dubbing in black and then dub it onto your thread. But make sure it's spread out along the thread and dub it very tightly. Now wrap your dubbing up the hook shank ensuring to give it a bit of a taper. Sometimes you might need to add more like I did here. Then take a CDC feather and stroke the fibers towards the tip. Then make a loose pinch wrap to attach the feather to the top of the hook. And make a second loose wrap to keep the feather from spinning. Now pull the feather down to ensure the tips extend out at the correct length. I like them to be about a half of the way to the bend of the hook. Then clip off the waist and make a few tight wraps to lock into place. Take a bit more dubbing and dub on tightly onto your thread once again. Unfortunately, I dub too much on. So if you do as well, just remove some. You just want to make a small head on the fly and then you can whip finish your fly. You can use head cement here, but I like using this UV curing resin made by Solarez called Bone Dry. This will keep the fly from coming apart even after many fish strikes. And there we have it, the RS2. It's a very effective and popular fly, and depending on the size and color it can mimic an emerging midge or even a betus, so they're very versatile. Hey thanks for watching, if you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. All the materials used today are listed in the description section. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.